Welcome to Community Connections, I'm Kathy Millett. Summer is here and everyone is hitting the beach, but there are some things you need to be aware of before you hit the beach. And joining us on the show today is Bob Zimmerman from Tsunami Scuba to give us some dive tips, scuba tips. Um, so Bob, you have a lot of equipment out here and a lot of people go out there and, and they're in flip-flops walking around the beach and it's a little dangerous. What are Not a good idea. Yeah, Not a good idea. things walking, you recommend? Yeah, well, walking in flip-flops, you could get cut, you could get mm -hmm. poked by something. Uh, we recommend that you use a booty. Mm -hmm. On the booty, we'd like to get, it would be helpful to get a booty with a felt sole bottom on it. Okay. Felt sole bottom, it'll, it'll help reduce the chance of getting punctured by something. Okay. Felt will also help from causing slips from the, the slime and algae that's on the rock. Won't prevent it 100%, but it'll reduce the likelihood of uh, you slipping when you're walking on the and roof with the felt sole bottom. some of the things that you can step on are those those um, sea, sea urchins, urchins right? Sea urchins, yes. And so and what will happen is they'll break off The spine will break off inside the felt vice breaking off inside your in skin, your which is a lot better. Yep, so you can get a nasty infection. Nasty from that, infection, right? yes. Uh, if you do uh, get cut or get a, a sea urchin poke from walking on a reef or diving, mm -hmm. clean it up and prevent and treat for secondary infection because that's usually more of a problem than the, the cut, okay. scrape, or abrasion. Okay, yeah. so, so if you do get um, punctured, should you go to the emergency room or do you, is it something you can handle it on It depends your own? on how bad it is. Okay. Most of the time with just a sea urchin puncture, just take care of it on your own and then prevent for infection. If it gets infected, then you'd want to go see medical personnel. Then you'll have to go yeah. in. Okay, and so th this is inexpensive. How much yeah. are these? Booties are about $35. Okay, uh, and we've got a little 35 and up, okay. depending on the brand. And you have two types, the felt and then the regular. Then right? a hard rubber sole. Okay, yeah. so be sure to, if you're going out there to get the, the felt ones. Well, both work pretty good, but the felt seems to work a little bit better. Okay, and also um, you can get nasty scrapes from the coral and yes. stuff. You can stub your foot and get scraped up pretty good. So this is also pretty good. For It'll that. help prevent that, yes. Okay, and you also recommend gloves? Yes, gloves would be a good idea. Um, a lot of us, when we go out reef walking, we like to touch things and, <laughs> you know, Right, wrong, and different. We, we shouldn't be touching things, but if we have that habit, it's best to have gloves on when you do touch stuff okay, in the ocean. Because you've had some bad experiences too, right? Of course. Yes. We all have. So, so don't go sticking your fingers in, yeah. in crevices trying to look for critters and stuff because yeah. you can get you, you, can, you, can, get you, can, you can pick up something that you really didn't intend on picking up. Yeah, there are some nasty things out there. Not And maybe not the cute little fishy that you were going after is in there. Maybe there's right. something else in there. Of course. Okay. And um, some other things you brought? Well, we brought some fins. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of our better selling fins for diving. It can be used for snorkeling also. Okay. Uh, the, a fin of this type, it is a Sea Wing Nova from scuba, my, made by Scuba Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, this fin, if you've got real strong leg muscles, this is a good fin for you. Okay. Uh, great propulsion for not quite a lot of effort. Okay. Another type fin we have is, this is a paddle fin by Aqualung. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you don't have real strong legs, this would be a better fin for you than the, the okay. Scuba Pro Sea Wing. Okay. So the fins will vary on what fins you get by your leg strength, how often you're going to use them, how much diving snorkeling you're going to do. And you, you can come in and talk to your staff. Yeah, and come can... into any of the foster, or any of the foster, yeah, okay. Any, any of the Tsunami <laughs> Scuba stores and talk, talk to the staff and they can help guide you in the type of fin that, that is, you fits your needs, yes. Okay. And some other things you brought out here? Yes, well we've got a mask and snorkel. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need a mask so we, when we look underwater, we can actually see actually and, every, yeah, and, yeah. and be in focus. <laughs> we want a snorkel that we can breathe from the snorkel while we're looking under the water so we don't have to hold our breath while we're on top of the water looking. Okay. Some of the things about a snorkel, this particular snorkel has a device on the top of it right here that helps prevent water from getting inside the snorkel and it diverts the water. That's good. Not 100%, but a lot of it. It helps. It's got and then cover on, on it. the bottom, it's got a purge valve, so when you do get water in the snorkel, you can blow it out and it'll go right out the bottom of the snorkel. Awesome. Uh, one of the things you want to do when you get a mask is you want to take and clean off the factory preservative on it so it doesn't fog up on you. Okay, and how do you do that? Uh, there's some mask rubs, just take it in, rub it around, mm -hmm. clean it, get an old toothbrush, or, or maybe your roommate's toothbrush if you yeah. don't like your roommate, <laughs> and just scrub your uh, the deep uh, fog or mask cleaner in mm -hmm. and it'll just scrub right off. Okay, might that's take good two or three times. Yeah, it might take two or three times to get it all off. That's good to know because it's scary going out there and everything fogging everything up. Everything right? fogging up. Okay, so that's a good tip. Any other tips you have out there? Well, if it people? does fog up, put a little water in the mask and slosh it around and get the fog off and just continue. Okay. And um, some other things we should be aware of when we're out there uh, snorkeling or reef walking. Well, one of the key things that we like to tell everybody is if you don't know what it is, 
and don't know what it can do to you, don't touch it. Just don't touch it. Just don't touch it. <laughs> save you a trip to the emergency save, room. Save you a trip to the emergency room. And um, going out there, um, I know there's a bunch of sea critters. Anything out that else out there like um, we need to be aware of, like certain areas, there's drop-offs, there's rough, rough waters? Well, there are rough waters, and it could be anywhere on the island where you're reef walking, snorkeling, or diving. The key is check the conditions for the sites you're going to, uh, look for the sea conditions, whether we're in uh, caution or danger or all clear. And when you get to the site, evaluate the site and take into consideration your experience, your skill level when you're evaluating the site. And don't go alone. Don't go alone. And if, if you go out with a group of people, don't let peer pressure push you into doing a snorkel or a dive that you're really not comfortable with. If you don't want to dive at that site or something's just not right, go to a different site. Okay, you know, you, you have instincts, you know yes. it's not safe. Pe people, people know what their, their experience level is. They know what they can handle. Okay, and they can find this information out there, the, the dive conditions as well as the tide tables and everything. It's all out there. Yeah, you can get tide tables online at the MCCS SCUBA uh, webpage. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can call the Kadena Weather Flight for current sea conditions. Uh, they can also provide you with some predictions of what's going to happen over the next several hours. And there are several websites, uh, that, uh, local websites, that talk about sea conditions uh, all around the island. Okay, and if you want to advance beyond snorkeling, you can take dive classes. Take a class, yes. Yes, okay, tell me about some of the tell classes. Tell you about a class. Well, we have a basic class of the open water class. Class typically lasts one week. You'll have about eight hours of classroom time frame, eight to ten hours in the pool, and then you'll have four open water dives in the ocean. And they will they'll work with you, they'll, they'll take work you with there. you, yes. We we can set a schedule that works for you. Most of our classes are after normal working hours. If you have a unusual class or unusual working schedule, we have some of our instructors who teach during the day, some of our instructors teach typically uh, most some of our instructors teach day daytime daytime classes mm -hmm. and you know if you've got a work schedule where you need to be at work at uh, midnight or something like that we can work around your schedule awesome so there's no excuse there's they'll work with you yes we will they'll work with you. and what about some some other people out there who are just really really afraid of the water do you recommend that they do that I, I recommend that you're you you're starting out in the pool so it's, yeah it's well okay. we start out in the pool mm -hmm. yeah, and then you know, once the instructor teaches you the skills in the pool, you're comfortable with the skills, then you go to the ocean and do the skills in the ocean. Okay, so one week, how about how, how much is the class? The tuition is 175 mm -hmm. the books are about $80, and then the students got to have their own booty, mass fins, and snorkel. Okay, all the stuff out here? All the stuff we've got out here, yes. Okay. Uh, we can rent the mass fins and snorkel, but we don't rent booties. Okay, all right. And you guys have, tell us a little bit about how much stuff, you guys have a ton of gear. Tell us about some of the products you we guys have. We have two or three tons, yes. yes we have yes, a lot of equipment. Oh, uh, anything you need for diving, we have, and if we don't have it in stock, we can order it. So uh, there, there's some equipment that people like for diving, uh, kind of high-end like cameras or mm -hmm. dive propulsion vehicles. That we, just, we just don't stock those because it's not an everyday needed item, but we can get them if somebody needs them. If wants someone them. wants them, they yeah. can order from you guys. Yes, they can. Awesome. And where are, some, where are the locations? We We've got the them? main location on Camp Foster. We have a store on Kinzer, a store on Courtney, and a store on Hanson. Everywhere. Everywhere. North, south, middle, it's Everywhere. all covered. Yeah. All right. We got you covered. How can uh, they get in touch with you? Uh, you call the main store at Foster at 645-4206. Uh, they're the seven day a week, and so you can get a hold of them anytime. Normal working hours for the Foster store are 10 to 1800 on weekdays and 08 to 1800 on weekends and holidays. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Bob. Right. Thank you for having me. For more information, you can check out our website at mccsokinawa.com. Stay tuned, we'll right back with more MCCS TV.